this um, Antarctic uh, Treaty Consultative Meeting here in Kochi is very important uh, for us and for the global community. In this uh, Antarctic Treaty Consultative Meeting, many important uh, decisions are going to be taken. Yeah, this uh, Antarctic Treaty Meeting, year by year, it has become more and more important. Antarctica is mainly for peace and science, but to now it is going on more and more geopolitical. India has been part of the you know Antarctica for more than four decades now. So and we have earned a name uh, in, in in international arena as well as in scientific uh, matters. Antarctica is so important for a country like India. We depend on uh, Indian monsoons, which is the weather uh, you know which defines our life. This um, Antarctic uh, Treaty Consultative Meeting here in Kochi is very important uh, for us and for the global community. Uh, in this uh, Antarctic Treaty Consultative Meeting, many important uh, decisions are going to be taken. And uh, as I have already mentioned during my uh, speech that India is going to have our new station, enhanced station. And also another important point is uh, uh, regulated tourism to be enhanced in Antarctica because it's a very beautiful continent but fragile. So we have to be very careful about its uh, uh, protection, conservation. So all the experts are gathering here and all the head of the country's delegation are taking part in this conference. I'm proud of my Ministry of Art Sciences for organizing uh, such an international conference in a grand manner and very nicely. <clears throat> so this is a 10 days long conference. Many important decisions are going to be taken here. And what are the agendas of this? See, <clears throat> the agendas are mainly uh, about the climate change, about the studies, about uh, how uh, the member countries are to regulate the, its um, activities there, and the ecosystem, the marine life. All uh, important things are to be reviewed because <clears throat> every time to time the situation changes. So we have to regulate the governance also. And so about India's ambitious plan to open my trade to <clears throat> That is already under the plan because it's a very old one. So we need to have the best of the facilities with the best equipments and which can take care of all the scientific uh, you know, temperaments. Uh, we, are, we, we have our regular uh, team, researchers and scientists there. Every year we are sending. Last year also I flagged off this time also, and I have interacted with them um, online. So they are doing fine, and uh, I hope we will uh, uh, soon complete one of the most modern research centers in Antarctica. This uh, Antarctic Treaty meeting, year by year, it has become more and more important because there are most of the, whatever the, uh, Antarctica is mainly for peace and science. But to now it is going on more and more geopolitical. So how do we tackle this? Because it is meant for peace, because no man's land. So actually we try to, India is trying to build the peace and science has been, uh, what is called, practiced in Antarctica, should emulate in mainland, not the other way. So now the mainland, whatever the disputes are happening, it is coming to the peace and uh, Antarctica treaty meeting. So basically this treaty meeting is an Antarctic parliament. Is playing a huge part in this Antarctic treaty consultative meeting? See, the, uh, India has been part of the you know, Antarctica for more than four decades now. So And we have earned a name uh, in, in, in international arena as well as in scientific uh, matters. So we are uh, party to various scientific as well as other forums, international forums. And why we all do this actually is that uh, Antarctica is so important for a country like India. We depend on uh, Indian monsoons, which is the weather, uh, you know, which defines our life, our agriculture and life. So the weather in uh, the monsoons actually, what we find extreme weather, or we found that relationship to Antarctica and the Arctic regions. Therefore, uh, studying, understanding, and quantifying how much Antarctica and Arctic influence the in Indian monsoons is an extremely important for our future. And it's also important that Antarctica has a huge amount of ice sheets, which is melting as they melt. It will ultimately is increasing the sea level, 
and uh, islands and the coastal regions of entire you know places like you know kerala which is actually already on the very some places are even below sea level are going to be more impacted as we can see every year year after year during monsoon time you got this you know storm surges happening around the coast of uh, um, uh, regions like um, kerala this is going to be much more impacted that's one reason why we should be studying and uh, how we impact uh, the international policies actually by involving in various uh, you know the programs as well as you know committees which defines that and this is an year for an opportunity for us to also tell the world how you know india is a very uh, substantial player because we came up with the indian antarctic act 2022 and we came up with the, its uh, rules and indian antarctic environmental protection rules that shows how serious player and seriously uh, we are worried about antarctica and its for the future